Hi folks, Matt here from UK Hammocks. Today I'm just going to uh, quickly show you a new tent that we've got. Um, I know it's not very lightweight, but the reason we bought this is um, for when we come and do the shows, like the Buscraft show, etc. Uh, we wanted something that obviously I could come and I could bring my family, my wife and my two daughters, um, so that we can come to the show and we can live in a little bit of comfort and it gives us a little bit more of a base, somewhere to hold stock, etc. Um, this is from uh, the Green Outdoor Company. Um, and this is their canvas bell tent with the canvas porch. We've also got the fleece carpet and the ground sheet. Now uh, there's like a polyurethane ground sheet protector. This is the first time we set it up and um, we've come down to the back garden. We're going to have to show you around and show you the bits that are inside. We're also having um, a stove made from Phil at Bush Life Essentials, uh, who's making us a stove out of uh, a recycled gas bottle. And obviously we'll have a stainless flue with that that's going to come up out the top um, where the cowl is on the tent there. So we can cook inside, we can heat water. So I shall take you inside now and show you around a couple of the features um, so you can have a look at this. Okay guys, this is the, the look from underneath the porch. I want to move around a little bit. Okay, so inside there you can see the two integral bedrooms. Um, they actually, you know, you can collapse those out totally and use this as uh, one large area. If we go inside, you can see the carpet. There's the two bedrooms, and the bedrooms are separated by this um, cotton sheet, which can again be rolled away to make it one large bedroom. And up the top there, is the, the cowl area. Now, the way this works is, let me come a bit closer so you can see, there is like a mesh of webbing strap, um, and the webbing strap has a, a small eyelet in the centre, so you pop that through and then there's an external cowl, and on there is where we attach our tarp that's at the front, and also we can roll the cowl back so that you can put your stove out, and the stove will sit at the base of the pole, in the back there is one of the vents and they correspond with the vents that are similar to this one here that can be rolled up on the outside that have like a mesh screen in to stop the bugs coming in but again um, to help ventilate the tent now oh, I get up and come out you see the floor has a split in it now what we can do is we can roll back the carpet and we can unzip the ground sheet and what that allows us to do is have a fire pit in the base, uh, obviously you'd remove your, your inner tents if you were doing that um, and allow you to heat your tent that way. For us we're going to be using, as I said, the stove from Phil at Bush Life Essentials which is going to be uh, recycled from a 7 litre gas bottle and I'll actually put a picture up, um, I haven't received it yet, I'm going to pick it up in a couple of weeks but I have had a picture of it nearly finished um, and that's going to sit on like a, a metal drip tray on the bottom there at the base of that pole and the flue will go straight up and out the top there. Let's have a little look around the features of the tent. Now what you do is you peg the base in, uh, which corresponds with the ground sheet protector. Then you put your pole up and then you come around and you tighten these um, external pieces. And what that does is it gives it its bell shape. So we go around and we would tighten each of the individual pieces up. And that's where you can see the tarp comes out and obviously out the top there, the cowl would uh, open up and our flue would come out for our, our stove. And here's one of the external vents I was talking about. Again, they're just zippered on and they can be staked out. And in there is the mesh screening that'll join up with the inner tent on the inside so we can vent it efficiently. So there we go. That is the green outdoor bell tent and they have them online at the moment I think they're actually in the sale at the moment um, we're really looking forward to getting out and using this uh, and you know giving us a little more centralised area for like I say the family but also you know the guys on the stand as well to give us somewhere where we can you know collect all our stuff and keep a track of things somewhere away from the stand especially when you know space is somewhat of a commodity at the shows when we you know we're restricted to how much room you can have having an extra place to come and put our stuff really is a great idea. 
So there you have it guys, that's the tent. Look out for us at the next show. Uh, the next show we're looking at doing is the Buscraft show. Um, I'm not quite sure where it's going to be, it was at Lakeside. I've heard it's moved somewhere else. So uh, as soon as I get back there'll be information on the site, um, reference where that's going to be. We're also going to try um, and come along to the Bushcraft UK bush moot and see if we can come along for maybe the Saturday um, to bring some bits over for you guys to look at. And we're also going to um, forget it on the Gilwell reunion which is the scout leaders reunion. Um, I'm a scout leader and a couple of the guys that help me out are also scout leaders. So we're going to try and come along to that and bring some bits across. So look out for us, look out for the tent. Um, and if anybody wants to come and have a look, um, feel free to just you know give us a shout come and have a look at the tent. Uh, I know the guys from Green Outdoor are normally at the same sort of show as we are. And again with the stove, if you want to have a look at Phil's work, uh, I know he goes along to the Wilderness Gathering occasionally, um, but if you'd like to come in again and have a look at the stove and the sort of things that you know we've had done, um, feel free, just give me a shout and come along. Uh, again, if you'd like some close-up pictures of stuff like the stove and the tent, um, and you're interested in buying them, I'm more than happy to you know, send you some pictures and any more thoughts we've got on it as we use it more and more. I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.